Hi guys, it's Kay here with In and Out of the Garden, gardening in Zone 7A, Northwest Oklahoma, and I wanted to let you know that we got the arbor done. And I even put a couple hanging baskets up there. The one on the right, I think maybe a little bit wonky, the chain must be um, not quite straight, so I'll have to fix that. It took us several days, and if my son hadn't helped me, I certainly couldn't have got it done because I needed more than two hands, so I so appreciate his help. I think it looks pretty good. You know, it's a, not a professional build by any means. And a couple of our two-by-fours uh, were starting to develop crowns, so hopefully they settle over time, but um, yeah, or the wisteria will weigh them down a little bit. They'll be more flatter, more flat, I guess. Anyhow, I'm very, very happy with how it turned out. I think the wisteria looks absolutely lovely. It took me a lot of time to get that lattice work out from out from it. Um, yeah, I had to break it up into little pieces. You can see my my little um, well, my big bucket here with all the pieces. But the wisteria just looks super fantastic. I'm sorry you can see my shadow. The sun's coming up. But I like it. It ended up being 8 foot tall. We started with um, 12 foot boards, which I cut down to 10 foot. And then we went 2 feet into the ground. And we did concrete those posts in. It is actually a square which I didn't plan on but it's 73 wide and 73 long I wanted to make sure that it was the width of the wisteria and so I went ahead and just planted the post um, the same width as this little bed is here that the wisteria is in and then I wanted to make sure that I had enough room for my cart to go through it this away and so I decided to go ahead and um, have that post meet up with that guard the edge of that garden bed there or the end of it and I really didn't start with any dimensions when I was thinking about it I had this vision in my head a very simple simple vision because the wisteria I want to be the show not the not the arbor but I did want to make it pleasing to the eye so and I think for non-professionals we did a pretty good job um, one of our posts is a little wonky it's a little bit twisted at the top I'm not going to point that out to you because I don't like it but we only had four posts to begin with and so that's what we went with but I think because it is wide enough to walk through and get my cart through and then we have some also I think right along this bed here I think I'm going to go ahead and put my little um, concrete bench that is over here now because this area is going to get totally redone and do some different plantings over here well there's not a whole lot planted over here anyways but I'm going to do that totally different so I'm going to move that bench right over here right there where my shadow is it's a little cool so I got my coat on this morning but and then I'll have a place in the shade to sit I did notice and I'm gonna swing around here come back the other way I did notice that um, after we got it up that it kind of overpowers the look of the other arbor I guess it looks kind of like we have a papa bear arbor and uh, I don't know if you'd call that a mama bear or a baby bear but I think once the wisteria grows in and hangs some maybe it won't look quite so out of place but the wisteria had to have something stronger to grow on so it really it really wasn't even a choice it was kind of a must do the arbor that was or not arbor <laughs> wisteria that was growing alongside the garage here 
had a a piece of hollow metal pipe that it was growing on that I had hanging here. And it is the long piece that you can see up there now that actually comes clear across the arbor. So that's the longest piece I have. And then I know that it'll take on a lot of growth this year, so I'm hoping it'll cover it fairly decently as soon as possible. You know, I want it to to all be done now, but as gardeners, we have to have patience. So I know it will get there, but I do love being able to see the form of this, which was definitely impaired by the lattice work that it was growing on. So I don't know what you all think about all the twists and um, wraps that it has in there on itself, but I just love it. I couldn't be more pleased. I'm so happy we finally got it done. It was something I kind of wanted to do last year, but I just never did get it done. So I'm quite happy. And these baskets that I have put up here, which will be the only things hanging off it, I could hang a lot of things, but um, decided to go with just the two baskets there. And I, I want to find some caliber coda, caliber coas to put in there because they like hanging in baskets and they don't mind if they get a little bit dry so because I will not be able to check the water in them I'll just have to water them as I water everything else so hopefully that will work out but I've not found any of the caliber coas out just yet so as soon as I find some I'll get those planted up so this is Kay and as I said I'm so happy with the arbor um, yeah, I think I'm going to get some planning done today, so I'm going to get off here for right now, and I'll see you next time. Bye.